today we're gonna be trying another tea. Today we are trying the Tower of London tea from Harney and Sons. This is a black tea with vanilla flavor, black currant flavor, bergamot oil, caramel flavor, and honey huh. flavor. So this one should be interesting. I'm hoping you can taste the honey. And I wonder why you should. But not too sweet. Honey. Yeah. Um, it says Chinese black teas stirred with stone fruit flavors, oil, bergamot, and honey yield a blend reminiscent of Elizabethan Bethian preserves. Um, Mike Carney's tea rating is briskness, also known as, oh, so I was gonna, oh, I was like, where's the thing, so, <laughs> so it's above, um, briskness, it, he gave it a rating of two, aroma, four, and body, two, and it says mm. a rating of five indicates, indicates the highest amount of that characteristic. Body of two, and it's a black tea. Yeah, you wanna open it? Yes. I'm excited about this one. Why? Because it sounds good. Also, I think it's funny how they described it with, like, I what's in it. First. It says stone fruit. So, like, peaches, apricots, all of them? But there's no Ooh. stone fruit in it. I want to eat it. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. This is good. It smells like a uh, fruity bergamot like good it smells really good it's like a sweet dark fruit like because of the dark tea yeah, and yeah, stuff it's you can get the vanilla too mm-hmm it smells really nice and there's not really much tea there's just like little bits of yeah it just looks like something. black tea black tea and then it has let's pour out a little bit it just looks like black tea with little bits of stems in it and things like little bits of leaf leaf that is not black tea leaves there's <laughs> not really much in this one though I really wish that the um, Shakespeare tea we could have done that with maybe I could, I could have but I don't want to ruin this actually anyways mm. ooh and I get to use this cute little tea strainer I found that is weighted so it's perfectly unlike level. mine that just falls into the cup <laughs> yeah I don't normally I drink out of these big of cups. I get it. Because it's just so cute. And heavy. Yes, it is very heavy. You can leave a lump on someone's head with that thing. <laughs> someone come in my room at night. Whack. <laughs> Probably just do it like that, you think? Yeah. I'll have to fill this a little bit fuller because of the strainer I'm using. The tea strainer. And how many minutes does it say to brew for? I'm gonna pour yours first. I don't, wait, pause, 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 pause. Pause it. Hold. You can tell by the fact that I have to look far away. Uh, uh, uh. uh boiling five. water for five minutes. Five minutes. My anchor pads are right there. Oh. Let's set a timer. That's pretty. I can figure out how to use this thing. We'll just fill it half. It's a little over half, but. Oh. I'll just watch the time. It's 12.58. Well, you probably walk your face. Go a little fuller. Go a little fuller. Fine. Be fuller. 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 Stop. I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did. This teapot drips. I need to get another teapot. I bought a teapot and then they broke my teapot. Teapots and glassware come here to die. Ooh, it smells even better. Smell it. Oh, I forgot you poured me. Is it really dark? Don't bump the table. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I didn't. It. Mm. it smells so good. It's like a. It smells dark. That sounds weird to say, but it smells dark. Like it's really berry. nice. This is what they say. Like a dark stone fruit. Chinese mm -hmm. black tea stirred with stone fruit flavors, oil of bergamot, and honey yield a blend of reminiscent. Oh, you already read this, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. You didn't make it sound interesting, so I'll try. I again. made it sound interesting. <laughs> Chinese black tea stirred with stone fruit flavors. Stirred. Oil of bergamot and honey yield a blend of blend of reminiscent of Elizabethan Elizabethan preserves. See, this is you smell the honey now that it's um, brewing. I hope it doesn't act. Oh, it doesn't actually have honey. So, yeah. honey flavor without the sugar, I guess. I wish they didn't do so many flavors. For yeah, that's one thing that I wish because like. Because everything's high quality and good, and I love it, but... But they like to do flavorings. Like, it wouldn't be that hard to do a little bit of... Like, I know vanilla is expensive, but, like, 
people are wanting to pay for. You had to click on the side of the mic. That's being weird. Being weird. The being side weird. top. <laughs> One o'clock. It has been two minutes. All right. So you can try it now. Are you it's excited? very dark. Uh -huh. Mine is darker than yours, but that's probably because of the cup, I think. And you probably have yours. more grounds for probably. tea capita. It smells so good. You can set yours on top of mine because we'll be fancy like that. Okay. It's a tea tower. <laughs> this is the Tower of London Tea. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tower. Can we do it? <laughs> no. Mom's trying to spill all my tea. This smells a lot lighter than I expected. Yeah, you smell the um, tea more, but you do taste, you smell the honey more now. Mm -hmm. It's gotten I think you sniffed all the honey smell. Um, I smell. Mm, it's very dark. I smell fruit, but I wouldn't necessarily say stone fruit. I think of like a dark fruit, like blackberry and Yeah, it's plum. more berry-like than stone. Blackberry and plum is I'm what I taste think. it. Taste it. You ready? Go. I burnt my lip, but this is really good. It tastes like darker fruits, like, and I don't, I think like plum and blackberry and that kind of like, and the bergamot taste and all that. It's more tea tasting than I expected. The mm. tea is the strongest flavor here, for sure. Yeah, I kind of expected it to taste a bit darker, but with, like, little hints of the vanilla and blackcurrant and all that kind of stuff, but you don't taste every one of those things that they put in here. I no, taste the taste... caramel a tiny bit, but I mostly taste blackcurrant and bergamot and a little bit of, teeny bit of honey-ish vanilla. I think you taste tea while you're drinking it, and then when you're done, the aftertaste is fruity. And maybe... I definitely taste the, um... It does have yeah. It tastes like it has blackberry in it, but it doesn't. I like it though. I kind of feel like I should have used more grounds, but that's quite a bit of. I would have used more grounds. Yeah, grounds. We we obviously were coffee turned tea people. No, I've always been a tea people. Well, you. But I don't find know how to converted talk. Converted to. My mouth doesn't talk properly, <laughs> and it just says what it wants. It is not a whole, it's not a very complex mm -mm. flavor, but it's really good. It's just like a, I, I just taste blackberry, bergamot, and black tea. But there's no blackberry in it. Right. These are stone mm. fruit blackberries. I don't know why they use stone fruit to describe when there's no stone fruit in it, but it does seem to kind of Wait, there was fit. What, what? No. There is... Let me see for myself. Oh, black currant flavor. That's what we're tasting. The, yeah, 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 the currant. Mm -hmm. That's why I kept thinking I just tasted blackberry. Yeah, that is strange. I never, I never, my brain didn't catch that. But it's basically black tea, vanilla, black currant, bergamot. And then it says that it has honey, but I don't, I kind of smelled and the honey. And caramel, but I don't taste either of those. I smelled the honey a few times. And yeah. And the first drink I had, like, a teeny tiny aftertaste of, like... The illusion of so honey. don't read this side that tells you stone fruit. Read the ingredients, and it says black currant flavor. This black tastes like a vanilla berry. Yeah, I do taste the vanilla. Slight, slight bergamot. Especially if you like wait and then taste a little bit. Um, and it's I think very this is nice very aftertaste. yeah. It's a very good black tea flavor too. Yeah, and then the black tea comes stronger than anything else in this tea. Mhm. Mm but it's like a. There's some black teas that just taste a little bit cheap, for lack of a better word. This one's like a really full-bodied, good black tea. Which is what we expect from Hearty and Sons. Yeah. My favorite. I think it fits the London name, Tower of London. They, they mm -hmm. seem to like more black teas in general. Because they're smart. And more. With tea. They, they aren't like us that want to add a ton of everything like us meaning like americans that want their tea very flavored mm -hmm. they, they they appreciate tea for tea self not right for the flavorings i have two harney and sun teas that i love the most and uh one is hot cinnamon sunset hands down always loved it that was my first harney and sun's tea my second favorite harney and sun's tea is their assam black tea 
There was one I wanted favorite. to try that had... They, I, I learned that they have a lot more themed teas than I realized. They have the Little Women one, which is one I've wanted to try for a little while. Um, it's called Orchard House. Huh. And it's a green tea with honey and apple pieces. And I was going to say, it has to have apples. <laughs> yeah, that idea. Like a kind of light green tea. I wouldn't have guessed green tea, but I guess it kind of makes sense. Um, it will be mellow like enough to have orchard. the apple come through. Yeah. Um, and I can't remember what all that one has. I just remember it has apple pieces and honey and green tea. Um, but there is another one that they had, I believe it is their, their Titanic one is just like Chinese black teas, like two different mm. kinds. So they blended, um, cause it's supposed to be, for, mm. because they did look, you know, looked at the teas that Why? were for that era. Oh, oh, and it was a, I think there was a Chinese Assam, maybe. Maybe. There, well, no, I think it was a Chinese black tea and then like an Assam. But anyways, they had two different teas that they blended for that one. And it was like, they fit the time period and everything. And then they have... The Orient Express tea. Which is what? Tea? Inspired by a book. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It is. And it, they were true. saying it was like, you know, the mystery and all that, and you know, because it starts out on the train, you know, and all that. So it had like jasmine and black tea and bergamot and like, I'm like, that does sound like mysterious kind of tea. Adventurous. I don't like jasmine. I don't either, but it had like the bergamot and the black tea and other things in it, so I think it'd be very interesting. I did have a tea. Also, we've only had Jasmine year. alone. Right. I was going to say, I, no, that's not quite true. What I was going to say was, I have had a tea this year that had Jasmine in it and I liked it. What tea was it? I have no clue. Because I, I think I've only I don't had even know Jasmine if I was at home, home, but I was like, I'm not going to like that. And then I was like, ooh, I like that. You know, I think one time I may have had a Jasmine green tea. Oh, yeah, it normally is Jasmine green tea, dear. <laughs> I don't think they have just jasmine flower tea. I did have, we did have a jasmine flower tea, just jasmine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was disgusting. Jasmine green tea is pretty terrible. Yeah. But I didn't used to like green tea either, so I've been wondering maybe. Oh. Uh -huh. If I in don't the like right it. form, I might like it. I haven't tried a jasmine tea in probably over a decade. Mm -hmm. Except for that blend that I didn't expect to like, and I don't remember what else was in it. But this one's really good. I'm really liking it more that I drink it. Mm -hmm. Now it's I will... very black currenty. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It's definitely black currant. Stone fruit was in this. Whatever. <sighs> yeah. But Just jasmine to... is. I have. I don't like floral teas. To me, it tastes but like recently coffee. I have liked jas or I have liked floral lavender rose. So maybe I would like Jasmine now. I would give it another try. But I don't trust that I like it. Yeah, they had some really cool looking teas that I want to try when we're done with these. They have lots of different themes. This is really good. It's one of those is really nice to just sip on. Oops, sip on for it's a while. It's really similar to this tea. But. But it's like a deeper, darker tea. This one's more like vanilla y lighter flavors. This one has less tea flavor, but still tastes like black tea. Would mm -hmm. you agree? Yeah. And this one is very heavy on the black tea, black currant flavor. So it's like a yeah. darker tea. But their ingredient list. This one has a bigger ingredient list. Black tea, vanilla, black currant, natural bergamot, caramel, and honey flavors. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This one though has like the floral more floral things in it. Yes, that's true. Black tea, orange peel, ginger root, oolong, vanilla, car and caramel flavors, rose petals, corn flowers, black currant flavor, and bergamot oil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ingredients compared to six, right? I thought you said five, but maybe it was six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. This one, too, you didn't taste the orange or ginger, though. Mm -hmm. You didn't. Right. But I saw someone they're say super similar. And if I had to pick one, I would pick this one. Me too. You? Okay. Because this one's more, like, complex and more fun flavors. Like, I don't know. I just enjoy it a lot. But I would like this to have a little bit more black tea taste. Yeah. So mixed is probably a really good or just that add a little good. bit of black tea to that. Mm-hmm. I really liked, though, how this one had, like, the caramely, vanilla, whatever. Everything. Neither of these need improved. Yeah. But. They're really good on their own. And if I was getting, if I wanted to mix it up a little bit, I might do both of them together or something like that if I was wanting to change up what I was drinking. Yeah. They're very similar. I suggest you try them both. Yeah. I think they're both really They're good. worth it. 
This one's a very pleasant one to just sip on. That does take all of our water, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It does. It's, uh, and it's I don't good. Think, it has a pretty color. I don't think I've had um, a tea that had this much, like, black currant flavor in it before, but I really, really like it. Yeah. But reading the description threw me off. Yeah. Like, I'm not tasting what they're telling me I'm tasting. Mm-hmm. But reading their ingredient list, I'm like, okay, I'm tasting what I should be tasting. Yeah. Um, you kind of smell the floralness of bergamot, like the earthy floralness of bergamot. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's like a second flavor, or actually third flavor. It so it's like so black good. tea and currant are the main flavors for sure. Mm -hmm. And it's a very like full body tea. It's not very like light like you barely taste it you know so it's nice to just sip on it because it's just there's so much flavor in it for a tea at least i really like it it's briskness aroma or brisk in it, briskness and body they give it a two i would agree mm -hmm. aroma a four but how high do they go five i would give this okay, a three on aroma and a two or three on body two or three on body yeah, yeah definitely a two i don't know about definitely three. two but it's not i don't feel like it's quite a three but i think it's maybe a little bit more than two the briskness is testing or or judging the astringency i don't feel like it's very i would say it's a one or a two and they gave it a two they yeah. know more than i do but it's yeah i don't feel like it's very astringent but it is a little bit for sure you do feel a little bit in your throat you know whatever yeah it's very good Mm -hmm. I would get this one again. And this one is another one that would be really good with shortbread. And this one comes loose leaf, so that's yeah. always one a plus came, for us. This one you can also buy in the big bulk bags. Oh, good. You can buy this one in so many different sizes, so I'm really excited about that. Um, they have this one, and they also have this squared purple tin. It's like a bright purple one. Um, but I didn't really care for the look of that one as much. And not that this one's anything fancy, but I just didn't feel like paying a little bit extra for sachets in a purple tin. Oh, no. It was a bright purple tin. I like to get bigger tins so that you can yeah, keep can... refilling them nicely. Did you break the lights? I, it, might, it might be because I'm leaning. It's you. Maybe. It's you. It's not me. I'm not breaking the lights. Let's get this chair over. They don't like you. <laughs> they don't um, like me This is another one that would be really good, though, with the brown sugar shortbread because that kind of just... Mm. Shortbread is just such a good tea pairing because it brings out a lot of those... It's, like, not an overpowering taste. Especially with a black tea. Mm-hmm. And it, like, brings out a lot of the flavor notes, typically. But then it also helps you relax and have a yeah. nice... Well, <sighs> and sometimes I feel like I want to, like, you know, drink teas fast, but this one is one I just want to sit and sip Oh, I on. kind of drank it fast. Yeah, you did. I still have half a cup, though. I do that, too. I think it's partly because most teas are weaker, and I'm used to... I, I like coffees. I have that a lot, so I'm normally like, oh, I need to take a big gulp. This one I like to just, you know, like sit and drink it slowly. This one has a nice aftertaste. It's still lingering mm -hmm. for me. Yeah, me too. It's good. We recommend it. We recommend this one as well. It's very good. I would, I'd like to keep this one in hand all the time. Yeah. Especially if they get rid of the Shakespeare tier, which I really hope they don't. <laughs> the downstairs... Joelle might not be, but everybody downstairs is on a tea um, freeze. We're trying to get through our stash. The, we've gotten down to the teas that they don't care for quite as much. Right. So herbal it's not tea. leaving as fast as they would. We've gotten down to the herbal teas. Um, mm -hmm. And a lot of, not just herbal or teas. Or just English breakfast type. We actually almost are out of English breakfast. Mm-hmm. Partly because I broke a jar. But yeah, we... Oops. Um, we mostly have herbal things. We have, and not just herbs herbal. herbs themselves that we That's are making into tea. Like, we have a gallon we're jar even of running, leaves, things like that. We're even running low on our herbal tea blends now. Yeah. Because we're trying to get through of all the ones. Because otherwise the kids would only drink, like, this. And I bought a container of the Florence tea, and they accidentally... I accidentally got two of them somehow, and they... Uh -huh. They blew for that through that container of Florence. And I thought about bringing mine down because it's one that I like, but I don't really reach for it very often. But no, I know that they blow it. through it really, really fast. Yeah. But we just we just were gifted a whole lot of mm -hmm. cute tins of it's tea. It's a brand so I haven't I'm tried either, that. so I'm really excited. They're yeah. really, really pretty floral tins. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be tasting those ones soon, too. Yeah. 
I'm very excited. But I think those are going to go, like, be hidden. So yeah. that they're not just... <laughs> because they're kind of, like, these cute little round tins that... I don't know how many sachets are in there, but... Yeah. But if the children like fast. one, they'll be gone. And yeah. Well, especially with... Not only is there a lot of kids, but they also... So that already makes it go fast, but especially if they, they don't really have reserve, and they're just going to be like, woo! Okay, well, that was gone in 24 hours. If everyone likes a tea, they know if they don't drink it, it will be gone, so they all exactly. drink it. Yeah. Makes sense. They don't get to take it up to their room like I do. <laughs> Correct. But they also don't buy their Because hand, if they took so. it to their room, they share it with someone, so... <laughs> Yeah, All but right. this is super tasty. We mm -hmm. highly recommend. I'm probably going to get another one of these whenever I'm done. Like, probably get a one-pound bag and then keep refilling my tin. I would... Because I like it. I would get... By the time you're done with this, I would get a bag and then you can just refill from there. Yeah, because I like this. Yeah. It's not really anything... There's not really anything outstanding to say about it, but it's just, like, a really nice one that you want to keep. Mm hmm So, definitely going to be buying more of this. Um... Have you tried the Tower of London tea? If you have, let us know what you thought. If you haven't tried it, I would definitely recommend it. It's very good. And if the, you have any requests for new tea brands or new tea varieties that we should try, let us know because... Because we love to fun. spend money on tea. We love it. We don't love to spend the money on it, but we love to have it. <laughs> <laughs> we love to oogle it and put all of them in the cart and then remove half of them and then buy the half. <laughs> So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.